All right, mi gente, guys, today we're gonna to talk about wiring. So, we're actually working on this condenser fan motor. It's a 208 volt motor. It's a 1075 RPMs. So, I want you guys to look at this wind diagram right here. Take a look at that. So, it's very simple, all right? So, in this particular motor, you have, you're using a capacitor. You're not using the regular capacitor I had originally, so we're gonna add a capacitor. But according to the actual diagram, the two brown wires, it tells you right here, brown wire and a brown wire with the white line on, which is right here. See these two wires? These connect to the capacitor. One terminal here, another one, another terminal here. All right? Simple. Now, it's 208 volts, so it doesn't matter which side they go, but you do gotta read the instructions. It tells you here, the white is the common, so we're gonna use the white one, so it'll be 110 volts on one, one leg, and since it's a 208 volts, we're gonna put another 110 volts on this leg. So if you take your voltage meter and you and you measure um, the voltage between one leg to the other, you should have 220 or 240. So these are your 220 volts, 240 volts. And the other set of wire, well, this is your ground, so that should go to the chassis. And these two wires right here, it tells you right there. So if it's spinning clockwise, they say, that's what, depending on the rotation, so if you want it to spin clockwise and this is set up for clockwise, then you're okay. But if you want to set it up for counterclockwise, then what you got to do is take off one leg from one orange wire, put it to the yellow, and the same thing as the other. So basically you're going to take one orange, one yellow, so the yellow is going to go to the orange, and the orange is going to go to yellow. So that's just changing the rotation. Guys, it's that simple. It's not that hard.